Steps kind of high. <laughs> it is such an incredible honor to be here in Jonesboro for the 50th Governor's Conference on Tourism. What an amazing job the team has done here. I was actually standing when we first came in in a conversation and somebody asked me a question and I realized I hadn't been paying attention to anything that they had said because I was so focused on the incredible pictures that were scrolling on the wall, I had to ask them to repeat themselves, which I don't think was the actual intent, but if I find this crowd looking off to the side watching the pictures, I'm okay with it. <laughs> I think that they have done just a, such a remarkable job, the team at CJRW, I know there's a, a number of them here today, along with Katie Falk, Tanera Florals, uh, in this facility here who have really worked together to showcase what a special place that Arkansas is. There's never been so much excitement and momentum for our state's tourism industry than there is right now. Tourism revenue in each month of 2023 set a new record on top of record numbers from 2022. Never have more Arkansans worked in the tourist, tourism industry than right now. And never has there been an administration more passionate and more committed to growing Arkansas tourism than this one. I want to start by thanking those of you here in this room. We would not be here without the hard work of each of you and your commitment and your passion for our state and for this industry. I want to say thank you to Secretary Shea Lewis for the introduction, but more importantly, I want to thank Shea for his 30-year career in state parks and tourism, and now as the leader of our agency and taking it to new heights, you are doing an absolutely remarkable job, and we could not ask for anybody better. Shea Lewis. Although I'm a little disappointed you're not in the uniform, Shay. <laughs> I also want to thank Chancellor Shields and Arkansas State University for hosting this conference. They are doing a great job, not only here in Jonesboro, but A-State is doing a great job leading in so many special things for Arkansas, and we're thankful for the work that you're doing. Also, Mayor Copenhagen, for welcoming us to your city. You guys have rolled out the red carpet, and we are excited to be in Jonesboro. I also want to take a minute to thank uh, all of the members of the Parks and Tourism Commission uh, who are scattered here in the front. If you all could please stand and be recognized for the work that you do. Uh, I, I've been told it's the hardest and most expensive volunteer work that you could ever sign up for. So we are very grateful if you could stand and be recognized as well. Jonesboro and Northeast Arkansas are on absolute fire. I love coming to Jonesboro. We have great friends here. Our family likes to hit an Arkansas State game. My brother is an A-State graduate. Uh, there's still a lot of fights in our family over that one. My husband, Brian, will ride the gravel cycling route along Crowley's Ridge, and we're excited about everything happening in Wilson, an amazing example of a small Delta town coming back to life as a tourism destination. But if I'm being honest, one of my favorite reasons to come to Northeast Arkansas usually involves duck hunting, a lesson that my dad taught me, and one thing that made me really excited for this past season is that duck hunting is a really great and fun thing to do, but it's even better when you're the governor of the state. <laughs> One of my dad's very first duck hunts ever as governor, he goes out, and the ducks start coming in, the dogs are getting ready, shots are fired, ducks fall, and immediately the entire group that is in the blind starts congratulating my, my dad. Great shot, Governor. Amazing. Sharpshooter-like quality. My brother, who, as I mentioned, is an A-State grad, he actually chose this university so that he could be closer to duck hunting. He turns to the group and says, hey guys, can you at least make him fire his gun first? <laughs> so I claimed a few ducks maybe that weren't mine this year, but we had a great time. 
But in all seriousness, it is an honor to be here with leaders in the tourism industry who help make Arkansas not only the best place to visit, but the best place to live, to work, and to raise a family. I want to take a moment to congratulate this year's honorees, Marcel and Karen. Thank you for your commitment and lifetime of service to the tourism industry and to our state. Marcel, my dad was a pastor and a politician, not in the military, so he gave me slightly different advice when it came to speaking than your dad gave you. So in short, we're going to be here for a really long time, <laughs> and I might even ask for money. <laughs> but you two represent exactly what we're here for, North Little Rock and the Delta, city and country. That's what those two honorees represent. And it's really what Arkansas tourism is all about, showing off our beautiful outdoor spaces and inviting visitors into our growing, vibrant cities. This past year was full of accomplishments on both sides of the ledger. I was there for the grand reopening of the Arkansas Museum of Fine Arts in Little Rock, a crown jewel in our capital city as well as the U.S. Marshals Museum in Fort Smith. Outdoor Magazine named our monument trails in Arkansas State Parks the best mountain biking trails in the country. Let that sink in, the best in the country. <laughs> 2022 statistics showed that we welcomed nearly 50 million people to our state, up 17% from the previous year. And while they were here, those visitors spent more than $9 billion, also up 15%. 2023 is looking even better. And looking forward to this year, in just over a month, we'll be at the center of the great American eclipse. We expect to have upwards of a million visitors to our state over a four-day period. And the Arkansas Graveler, starting in Fayetteville, will finish its inaugural race right here on Arkansas State's campus. Mount Nebo will continue to be the only place outside of the Rockies to host the Big Mountain Enduro Mountain Biking Race. Yeah, we got some fans over there. You know, I'm in, gover I'm in government. If we get a applause, we'll stop every single time. <laughs> and all of those new visitors will enjoy our first-class restaurants, hotels, museums, trails, and parks, helping bring them back time and time again. My administration is focused on the nuts and bolts that will allow Arkansas tourism to keep growing. Alongside my husband, Brian, who is here today, we created the Natural State Initiative at the beginning of my term. Brian's been around the state bringing together some of the best minds in tourism and outdoor recreation in the public, private, and nonprofit sectors, and he has also visited all 52 state parks in about nine months. It's pretty good. He got the t-shirt to prove it, but our kids quickly stole that, so... He also helped me chart the course, along with many of the legislators who are here in the room today, if we could also have the legislators that are here stand and be recognized. Most people think I'm recognizing them because I want you to know who they are and clap along, but really, if you're upset about something, I want you to talk to them. If you're happy about something, I want you to know I was part of it. Also, before I go any further, I just recognize that Congressman Crawford is here as well, and we are very thankful for your leadership uh, for the state, but also uh, the way that you fight for Arkansas every single day in Washington, D.C. Thank you for your leadership. <laughs> but along with our partners in the legislature, we focused on providing a strong foundation to establish the natural state as the destination for year-round outdoor adventure and advance our mission to elevate the best outdoor experiences in Arkansas, getting more kids off screens and outdoors, 
improve health and quality of life, and double the number of entrepreneurs, workers, and the overall size of our outdoor economy over the course of the next decade. We established natural state opportunity zones in four state parks to offer incentives for entrepreneurs to test a new concept within an existing recreational area. Investors can repurpose or build facilities for food, beverage, and lodging, or repurpose or expand rec recreational facilities or infrastructure for guiding services. Much to my dad's disappointment, as a Southern Baptist minister, we opened alcohol cells in all Arkansas state parks, including those in dry counties, mostly to remain in step with visitor preference and expectations, particularly our out-of-town guests, who account for 50% of our 10 million annual state park visitors. And we improved hospitality and amenities in state parks. We hired trail managers for our monument trail systems within Arkansas State Parks to make, our, make sure our best in the nation trails are continually maintained and improved. We allocated millions in outdoor recreation grants and changed the law to spend more of those dollars on high priority, high impact outdoor recreation projects moving forward. And we increased historic tax credits for historic districts, particularly small towns. This will encourage investment and improved quality of life with a focus on the preservation and revitalization of main streets and downtowns across our state. We also discounted by 50% the cost of a lifetime hunting and fishing license for kids under the age of 10, incentivizing parents and grandparents to get their kids off those screens and encourage more kids to build a lifelong love of our great outdoors. And at the end of last year, the Natural State Initiative released a series of policy recommendations that will help solidify our state as a top outdoor recreation destination. I don't tell you all these things just to show off and say, wow, look how great we are, because none of those things would happen without the partnership of the people in this room, without the dedication, without the passion of each one of you working hard and working together to move our state to the very top. I'm confident that Arkansas will not only just be something that we talk about here once a year, but it will be something that people are talking about across the country and across the globe once they get the chance to experience which, what each of us are getting the opportunity to do. We're focused on making sure that every investment we make helps take Arkansas to the next level so that your industry continues to be successful. I'm hopeful that 2024 will be bigger than 2023, and year after year we will continue to grow. I'm very proud of the fact that Arkansas is the natural state. I like to say all the time that I'm Arkansas's chief salesperson, and I love telling our story. We have a great partnership. I know I mentioned CJRW earlier that put this event on, and we have been working in close partnership with them to give the largest budget ever to market tourism over the course of the last year. And we expanded our campaign from Arkansas and neighboring states to target new markets in Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico, Oregon, Utah, Colorado, and California. And we shifted dollars to include targeted and effective digital advertising, PR events, and influencer campaigns so we can continue to tell Arkansas's incredible story. And the results could not be more clear. Arkansas is smashing records for tourism and is now top five in the nation for inbound migration one of the top states people are moving to, for, to Arkansas, is from California. What a great story for Arkansas. There has literally never been a better, better time to visit or to relocate to our incredible state. As I said, Arkansas is the natural state. You know it, I know it, and now it's time for the rest of the world to know it. I'm thankful for each of you here in the room whose great restaurants, hotels, museums, parks, cities, and businesses have made Arkansas a top tourist destination and given our state 
a reputation for excellence. I know that together we can take Arkansas to the next level. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the work that you do. I promise you won't find a better partner or someone who is more passionate to work alongside you. Thank you and keep up the great work.